guys, welcome back to Station Tutorials. I have another quick tip for you today and we're gonna talk about wiggles or wiggle expressions. All right, there is a lot of things you can do with this. I'm not going to be able to cover all of them, but I hope to scratch the surface to show you just enough to get you up and running. All right, first things first, wiggle expressions. You can add a wiggle expression to pretty much any keyframe parameter that exists. So to start out, let's just hit P on the wiggle that I have here. I just have this as the text. You could have written anything. You could have written text. You could have written Bill Clinton. It doesn't matter. So let's alt click on the position of our keyframe and we're going to type wiggle and then we're going to type parentheses. Now the parameters here is frequency comma amplitude. So our first number is frequency. You can also think of that as how often. Maybe we want to do this 20 times over an amplitude of how much. Maybe you want to do that 30. You'll get the hang of it after a while. At first, you'll see kind of how much this is actually going to affect what you're looking for. So let's click off of that. And now you will see our position is wiggling at a frequency of 20 by an amplitude of 30. Changing these parameters. So say that our frequency, let's just take a zero off here, and that's 2 by 30. Now you will see that it is very slow. That's because we turned our frequency down. That's how often. We could turn our frequency back up to 20, and let's take the zero off of this, and this is how much. So it's going to move a lot, but in a little bit of space now because we turned down the how much. That's position. Take this off here and let's hit R and switch to rotation. We're gonna alt click on rotation. Same thing, wiggle. And then parentheses, let's do 10 by 15. And we're gonna close this. Now you're gonna see we're gonna have a rotation here, wiggle. The wiggle originates from the anchor point. So as you can see, our anchor point is right here. You can adjust this by hitting A and moving that on the anchor point here. And if we did that, you could see it will wiggle from this anchor point here. You can also adjust the anchor point by taking this tool here, the pan behind or anchor point tool, shortcut Y, grabbing that, grabbing your anchor point and bringing that to wherever you wish. Let's say you wanted it to wiggle from the side here and now it will wiggle from the corner. This is great for text animations, lower thirds, title cards, however you want to integrate and incorporate this. It prevents you from having to keyframe everything. Now, that's not it. Let's take this off of the rotation here by hitting Alt again, and we can do this with the scale as well. So you can Alt click, wiggle. Let's do 20 by 55. This is gonna be a big one. And now, whoop, whoop, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Okay, now I didn't change my anchor point, so it's actually scaling from over here, which is interesting. I've never, I just found that out. All right, cool, we're both learning things. So traditionally, I've only really used the scale wiggle from the anchor point being, let's here reset this, boom, in the middle. Ah, I'm gonna have to reset our position too. You can reset parameters just by right clicking and hitting reset. This is another helpful tool over here, this align tool, kind of gets things back centered up. Let's uh, bring our scale size down here. Okay, wiggle, wiggle. All right, you can also do this with opacity. So let's alt click on opacity and do the same thing. Let's keep our frequency low, maybe five. Maybe we want the amplitude or how much the opacity is going to fluctuate. Let's do maybe 75 so we can really make this noticeable. Now our frequency will wiggle. Maybe we can put this up a little higher, make this 10 so we can actually see this in action. Okay, great. Now our opacity will wiggle as well. Another way you can have control over your wiggle or over the amount of the wiggle, grab a new null object here and we're gonna throw on a slider control onto our null. Let's just, for the sake of uh, it being the position, we'll just put the wiggle back on the position and close that. Now what we can do, say we wanna increase our amplitude or our frequency over a period of time. We can just highlight that, pick whip it, click out, and now we can adjust it right here with our slider control. The slider is just a nice way to have control over your wiggles. 
show you one last thing here. Let's add a new light and let's make this a spot. Okay, okay. And let's make all of this stuff 3D here so we can see our light. Now, I mean, this doesn't look very good, but what we can do, we can alt click on the intensity of the light and we can wiggle this as well. We're gonna have a light that flickers. So these are just some keyframe parameters that should help you guys, give you guys ideas when designing things and hopefully make your lives a lot easier. All right, guys. I hope you learned something and took something from this and use those wiggles. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys next time.